Welcome to SJ Kids Sunday School Hour. As usual, I have missed you this week, but I hope you've had a good week. And we are going to get together today and do a story from the Bible. But first, do you get dinner every night from your parents? I know when I was a kid, I would get dinner really yummy every night. But what if I thought this? What if one night I look at my dinner and I go, oh, what if tomorrow night I don't get dinner? What if my parents just don't feed me tomorrow? I know, I'm gonna eat some of my dinner and then save the rest just for me, for tomorrow, just in case they don't feed me. And I hide it. It's under my pillow where no one's gonna find it. I'm good. Well, that would be crazy, right? When have your parents not given you dinner? When have my parents not given me dinner? I don't need to hide it under my pillow for tomorrow. I can know that tomorrow they're gonna to give me dinner. Well, even more than my parents love me, God loves me. And you know what? God provides for me every day too. He has promised to give me everything that I need every day, even more than my parents would give me. So I can trust him. Do you know that sometimes we're kind of selfish, aren't we? Sometimes we don't trust that there's gonna be enough. What if you think, there aren't quite enough donuts for my cousins and my sisters and brothers coming over. I'm just, just gonna keep them for myself because I might not have as many as I want if I share them. So I'm gonna keep them to myself. Or what if sometimes you get a toy and you decide, I don't really want to play with someone else. I want to keep the toy for myself. I don't want to share it. Sometimes we feel like that sometimes, right? Well, when I was a little girl, we went on vacation. And on vacation, we were going to play this game. We were going to play a board game. And there was a bar of chocolate. My dad broke it up into pieces. Well, there were four daughters in my family. So with mom and dad, that made six, six people. And I looked at this chocolate and I thought, it's not enough chocolate for me. So when people went looking, I took a couple of pieces of chocolate without asking and I ate them. So I was hoping that my dad wouldn't notice how many pieces had been there. But guess what? He did. He noticed that the pile of chocolate was smaller and he said, hey, you kids, who's eating some chocolate? And everyone's quiet. And so suddenly I go, it was me. And you know what my dad said? My dad said, that was selfish of you. That was greedy of you. And I was sent to bed with no dinner that night. I had to go to my bed, no dinner. Hmm. But I deserved it because I had been selfish and greedy. So in the Bible story this morning, in Acts, we find that the people in the early church were doing amazing things. They sold their homes, they sold their land, and they gave all the money to the church and to the people they were hanging out with so that everyone would have enough to eat and everyone was provided for. Wow, they gave everything they had away and they shared what they had among themselves. So how could they do that? Why weren't they afraid of doing that? Well, one, they had seen Jesus do amazing things. They had seen him feed 5,000 people with just a little boy's lunch. They had seen him go to a wedding where there was no wine and he turned all this water into wine. They knew that Jesus was with them and that he would provide for them every day. They knew that Jesus was God and he was generous and giving. And they wanted to be like that too. They wanted to be giving, sharing people, and they didn't worry about tomorrow because God was with them. So the Bible has a lot to say about money. And one way to think about money is like this. This is called a piggy bank. And when I was little, kids would save their money in the piggy bank. 
it has a little hole in where the money goes. Well, my piggy bank here is special. I think it's a very clever one because it's got three parts to it, three holes. And if you look at it like this, you see the first one says share, next one says save, and the last one says spend. And here's what you do with your money. If you have some coins, say you get some birthday money or some Christmas money, the first thing you do is say, how much do I want to share and give away? Hmm. I'd like to give lots to God and to my friends and to people who may need it who are poor. So you put some of your money in the share one first. But then you think to yourself, well, down the road, I might want to buy something that's big and costs a lot of money, like a bicycle. I know I'm going to save some money. I'll put some in here and save it for when I need it. So I put some money aside to give away, I've got some to save, and the last lot is for me to spend. So if there's something I want today, if I want to buy a milkshake at McDonald's or buy a toy, I can use that money because that's my spending money. And you know what, kids? This is a great way to live. And if you lived your life like this, you would handle money really, really well, and God would bless you. So just like the people in the Bible, we want to be giving. Why? Because God is giving. He gives to us, we give to other people, and it's a wonderful way to live. You know, recently, I was at the hairdresser's. She was doing my hair, and while she's doing my hair, I said to her, hey, how is your little five-year-old boy doing? And she said, well, he's doing great at school, but one thing he does is, every day, he gives his lunch away because a lot of kids in his school don't have enough food to eat. So he gives it away. So I said to her, how do you feel like that, about that? And she said, I feel good about it. I feel like I have a really loving, kind little boy. So I give him more lunch every day. I try and pack extra lunch for him. And you know what I said to her? I said, that is great. I think God is so happy to see your little boy giving and for you giving to him so that he can give to others. That's just great. So let's all be generous givers, just like that little boy, like his mom, and like our Heavenly Father. So I'm gonna see you next time. And remember, Jesus is with you, and he loves you very much. Bye.